Hey, Lyndon Max here. Uh, Max, and how are you doing these days? Uh, <laughs> uh, the question is, <laughs> simple, the answer is not. Yeah, the, the general uh, progress is great. Um, the cat is sick today, uh, but I, I'm not sure <laughs> if you are into cats. Let me think. I think you, you were a cat person. I, uh, ha uh, there were cats around me at times, yes. I, and, uh, I thought that they were good for helping me calm down sometimes. Uh-huh. And, um, and I think you had a dog too, I don't remember. But I yes, think... I, uh, I like dogs as well. I did uh -huh. not have much time for animals, but I did like them. Right. Uh-huh. And um and behave behaviorally I think you were uh, more like a cat than a dog, but I'm not sure. I wouldn't know how to even analyze that. Uh you know, that's an interesting analysis. You were great in in being a uh, uh, playing a, a role of a, a devoted son to to a few leaders. Yes, I find uh, it to be. Uh, it was very helpful to my career to be uh, submissive to some of these greater people at the time, and then I would rise above. Right. So that's a very dog behavior. Yes. Yeah, so I guess you were more like a, a dog, dog person. If you say so. <laughs> All right. Um, right. So my question to you, why I called you, was about um, Peter Camel. Can you look into him? Who? Peter Camel. I'm uh, uh, developing. I, yes, Perry. You're talking about Perry. Perry, yeah. I saw you were dealing with him. Uh huh. He's an extremely intelligent human. Uh huh. He has a great business sense, but what makes him most successful? He, his business sense is excellent, but he's such a people person. People uh -huh. love him. People wow. will follow him. That's what I learned about my life. If I could be lovable to certain people, you can get very far with your personality. Uh huh. So even though they see that you did crappy things, if you were nice, sweet, and genuine with them, it uh -huh. didn't matter. Right. So among people, among spirits who I, uh, uh, who I know, you are the most knowledgeable about playing politics and um, domination. Wow. You think so? All right. I mean, who, who would you recommend? I don't know many more. <laughs> but, well, you know, I'll help you as much as I can. <laughs> I, I connected to you at some point, and um, I find that your uh, sense of um, politicking is, uh, is, was, was exceptional. Ah, all right. Right, well, so... It was in because of how everything happened. I learned quite a lot in my early days uh -huh. and that helped me with the later days. Right. So, so yes, I, I have to say, um, I learned my lessons. <laughs> right, so I'm, I'm very different from you in uh, almost every respect. Uh, you oh, know, good for you. When I see myself being uh, submissive to others, I I uh, I cannot stand it. I, I but I actually I do, but I cannot stand it either. But in the long run, it's it's obvious that I I, I it shows through me. I'm very transparent. It shows through me that you know the thoughts which I have, I can't hide. When I feel that I'm doing a little bit too much, it's it's visible. But yes, I tried a few, a few times in my life to to. Um, 
Well, to, be, to, to get close to others, yeah. Uh -huh. Be transparent can be a good thing. Mm -hmm. in, the, in certain company, being transparent is the only way to go. Mm -hmm. Now, there are others, uh, there are times when you're with groups of people that you must uh, not be transparent and you must hold your cards tightly to your chest. Right. Because you, you have to know where everyone stands and they must not know where you stand completely. Uh huh. They must uh, have some guessing room because you are going to be speaking to them about decisions about yourself. They're going to make decisions about you. And if they cannot decide whose side you're on, that can actually be a good thing for you. It can, for certain people, it can be a plus. It means that the, I can be swayed to move in their direction. Or I can be swayed to move in the other direction. So yeah, they can feel like they have more control when they don't think that I have an opinion. Uh -huh. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, that's what you did in Congress and Senate, right? Correct. And in Texas, right. Oh, absolutely. Uh -huh. um, but you see, there's only certain times when you do that because when it's, a, a, when it's a, a questionable time, you have to, uh, if it's a questionable time, then that is when you have to be decisive. You have to be on one side or the other. But if it's, right. if it's, uh, things that can uh, affect the future but not the present, then you you let things uh, let people think whatever they want. That's right. You did uh, long term strategizing. Yes, I did. Uh, you sacrificed so much for for the presidentship. Ah, well, I uh -huh. didn't think that I wanted it at first. But then, all of a sudden, it was all I wanted. It was very early. It was very early. Um, yes. Well, I didn't, I didn't think that I would want it, but then I really did. I had to was, be honest with myself. There was that red-haired woman, and you sacrificed even relationship with her. Huh? Yes. Yeah. These how did she do? How did she do after that? What did she do? How did she do after that? You did, did uh, separated. I left her in good condition. Uh huh. You know that no one knows what happened to her really, because uh -huh. she was not talked about. We, uh -huh. I told them to leave her alone, uh -huh. and because she did not want to be in the public eye. And so uh, that is what they did. Of course, the the uh, media back media back then was a lot different than it is now. Uh huh. The media now, if you tell them not to do something, that's just what they'll do. <laughs> What's she an alien? Um, I don't know, but it is possible. Uh huh. Uh huh. And um, yeah, what's about God? Uh, how do you call it? God bladder? Wait a second. How do you? God bladder? I can't pronounce it. Something like gold bladder. Gold bladder. Uh, yeah. what, well, you had the problem with gold bladder much of the time. What yes. was it? Why, why was it? Was, uh, what was the energetic pattern of that? Why gold bladder? Um. I don't know why they chose the gallbladder, but they did. Uh, the, it is a, a gallbladder is a filter. So I uh -huh. think that it was filtering out too much negativity. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, That's you problem. went through so much stuff. You like, you did a wide swipe, wide, wide sweep. Like you did so many letters, so many people connected to you. Like when you did the campaign in you, there was like, crazy number of people you you talk to and it's all filtered in the cold blood right 
Yes. Well, so when, I think the, uh, yes, that's true. Because sometimes now, now it becomes my, one of main problems for me. I wonder what is in my life I'm doing wrong. Maybe that's selectivity which is suffering. Um, everybody that says, I wonder what I'm doing wrong is really not aware of what they're doing right. Uh -huh. So you are doing things right and you're not experiencing them in the proper way. Uh -huh. I have learned that when you're doing things right and you're experiencing them correctly, then you're much more encouraged. It's cryptic. Well, I don't mean to be cryptic. I just meant to be, to tell you that you have to understand yourself in order to know that you're not all doing everything wrong. And there was a period where I felt that way, but then I realized, look, we got this far. We did all this, this, uh, everything was successful to this point. Don't look at what you're doing wrong. Look at what you're doing right and head in that direction. And that is what I did. I see. So when I have the pain in gallbladder, should I do what? Like um, relax? You're, yes, you need to relax. What it's doing is filtering out too much crap out of your system, which means um, you're maybe not, your diet isn't right for you. But uh, what it was for me, mine was more, uh, mine was more karmic than it was anything else. Uh huh. Uh huh. Because I I did a lot of bad things. All right. Ah. So, in the past or at the time when in that life? Well, I. I never stopped doing bad things in some ways. Right. Um, I was sort of a hypocrite that way, but Oops. uh huh. But I was able to cover it over and smooth it out so many times. I don't know how I got away with it. Right. So why did you um, turn down the second term? Yeah, one was enough. Was it because you were close to be dying or? Well, or I you... wasn't feeling optimal. Was it because of health or because of your? Well, I had already reached the goal that I wanted to reach, and that was becoming uh, the president. All right. And I wasn't feeling all that well. Uh-huh. And I didn't feel that I could do the job as well as I did it before. Uh -huh. So I let it go. And I, I'm glad I did. Yeah, but um, Nixon came after you and it was a disaster. Well, it wasn't my fault. All right. I mean, I'm glad I let it go, but I, I can't, I can't uh, be blamed for uh, Tricky Dicky there. Now, um, uh, I think uh, one of the reasons was that you were under such a pressure that that uh, they would threaten you to reveal some of your secrets in the second election. Well, that and I wasn't at optimal health either. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, and I just needed a break and I, and I took it. Uh-huh. It's like uh, died. Yeah. <laughs> I needed to die, so I just died. But, right. Um, I, I wasn't responsible for the fact that Nixon was unbalanced uh, mentally. Toward the oh. end of that second term, he was really gone. Ah, I didn't know. Yeah, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't mentally well. Ah. 